Canon's APS-C mirrorless lineup is about to undergo one of its most exciting transformations yet. At the center of this shift sits the Canon EOS R7 Mark II, the anticipated successor to the 2022 EOS R7. But this new model isn't simply a minor refresh. It could mark a turning point in how Canon approaches its crop sensor camera strategy. While the first EOS R7 carved out a strong niche as a high-performance APS-C hybrid, Camera for sports, wildlife, and content creators. The upcoming Mark II version is rumored to go far beyond expectations. Canon might use this body to experiment with next-generation stacked APS-C sensors, advanced video features rivaling cinema cameras, and professional-grade design borrowed from its full-frame flagships. If these rumors prove true, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II could redefine the expectations for crop sensor cameras competing not only with Fujifilm and Sony, but also beginning to challenge Canon's own full-frame lineup. But that raises important questions. Will Canon finally ditch the mechanical shutter in favor of a fully electronic stacked sensor design? Can an APS-C camera truly compete with full-frame hybrids in both stills and video performance? And perhaps most importantly, will photographers and videographers be willing to pay close to $2,000 for a crop sensor body in 2025? Let's break it down. Design, performance features, release window, pricing, and why the Canon R7 Mark II matters for the future of mirrorless photography. A redesign that mirrors Canon's pro cameras, one of the clearest shifts with the EOS R7 Mark II, will be its body design. While the first R7 was praised for being compact and lightweight, it also received criticism from advanced users. Its smaller grip, less robust button layout, and slightly cramped handling made it feel less balanced with larger RF lenses, especially telephoto options that wildlife shooters rely on. The Canon EOS R7 Mark II is rumored to take inspiration. From the EOS R5 Mark II, delivering a slightly larger chassis with improved ergonomics, this change would serve multiple purposes. Deeper grip for comfort during long shoots with heavy glass like the RF 100-500 Miminers or Super Telephoto Primes, repositioned joystick and control dials that mimic Canon's professional cameras, creating a smoother transition for users upgrading or switching between bodies, accessory compatibility with Pro Tools, like the cooling grip designed for extended video sessions. By aligning more closely with its full-frame siblings, Canon is signaling that the R7 Mark II isn't meant to be a budget-friendly crop sensor. It's designed as a professional APS-C flagship, essentially a spiritual successor to the iconic Canon 7D series. This design overhaul would also help Canon better serve hybrid shooters, those who switch between photo and video constantly. A sturdier body with improved heat dissipation, weather sealing, and customizable buttons could make the R7 Mark II a workhorse for travel, wildlife, sports, and even documentary filmmaking. Performance, a stacked APS-C sensor that changes everything. Where things get truly exciting is in the performance department. The EOS R7 Mark II is heavily rumored to feature Canon's first stacked APS-C sensor, a groundbreaking move if it happens. What does a stacked APS-C sensor mean? Faster readout speeds, drastically reduced rolling shutter, making electronic-only shooting viable. High burst rates, rumored at up to 40 frames per second continuous shooting. Rivaling Canon's pro full-frame speed demon, the EOS R3 Toit improved video capture, less distortion when recording fast action at high resolutions. The biggest controversy? Canon may ditch the mechanical shutter entirely in the R7 Mark II. While mechanical shutters are still favored for their tactile reliability in certain scenarios, they are moving parts that eventually wear out. An all-electronic shutter system powered by a stacked sensor could represent the future of APS-C. If Canon gets the sensor readout speed right, the lack of a mechanical shutter might not even be noticed by most shooters. Instead, they would gain a silent, vibration-free shooting experience. Perfect for wildlife and event photography, improved IBIS, the R7 Mark II is also expected to upgrade. Canon's in-body image stabilization system to as much as 8.5 stops, a massive leap over the original R7's 5-stop system. This would make it more competitive than Sony's A6700, and even Fujifilm's X-H2, both of which have been leading in stabilization performance. With 8.5 stops of stabilization, handheld shooting at slower shutter speeds, long telephoto focal lengths, 
or in low light would be more practical than ever. This is a game changer for handheld wildlife and travel photography. Features, a hybrid powerhouse for photos and video Canon is clearly positioning the EOS R7 Mark II as more than just a stills camera. Its rumored feature set would transform it into a true hybrid camera, appealing to both professional photographers and serious videographers. Video capabilities K video recording, Twyer K at 120 FPS, with 10-bit color depth and Canon Log 3 support. Potential 3.2 open gate recording, useful for anamorphic workflows, active cooling or accessory-based cooling support, helping prevent overheating during extended 8K or high frame rate sessions. If these features arrive, the R7 Mark II could rival cameras like the Panasonic GH7 and Fujifilm X-H2S in terms of video production flexibility, while also doubling as a speed monster for still photography. Photography. Features pre-continuous shooting buffer. The camera begins capturing frames before the shutter is pressed, ensuring no moment is missed. Dual processor setup for better subject tracking, faster autofocus, and smoother data handling, .AI-driven autofocus improvements for tracking animals, vehicles, and humans with greater accuracy. In-camera upscaling for higher resolution output, offering flexibility for large prints without needing a full-frame body. Memory and workflow expect dual card slots, one CFX Press Type B for high-speed throughput, and one UHS-2 SD for flexibility. While dual CFX Press slots might remain exclusive to higher-end models, this configuration ensures the R7 Mark II can handle the demands of both 8K video recording and 40fps bursts. Price and release. Date multiple sources point to a late 2025 release window for the Canon EOS R7 Mark II, likely between September and December. Some speculate that Canon could unveil it at the IBC trade show in September, although that event usually focuses on cinema gear. A more realistic target is a Q4 2025 launch aligning with the holiday shopping season. Pricing, the R7 Mark II will almost certainly carry a higher price tag than the original EOS R7, reflecting its advanced stacked sensor and hybrid capabilities. Expected pricing, body only, WoW 799, 1999 USD kit with RFS, 18th point and 150 mm lens, $2100, $2500 US however, external factors like tariffs on Japanese-made. Cameras could increase prices by another 10-15%. This puts the Canon EOS R7 Mark II very close to entry-level full-frame cameras like the EOS R8 or Sony A7C II. That makes it clear. Canon doesn't intend this to be a budget crop camera. Instead, it's positioning it as the APS-C flagship, essentially the mirrorless successor to the Canon 7D series, often nicknamed the Mini 1D. Why the Canon EOS R7 Mark II matters. Canon EOS R7. Mark II is more than just a new camera. It's a statement about the future of APS-C systems. It shows Canon is willing to push innovation into crop sensor bodies, not just reserve breakthroughs for full frame. It could set a new industry benchmark for APS-C performance, forcing rivals like Fujifilm and Sony to respond with even faster, more powerful designs. It might finally answer whether the APS-C format can compete with full-frame cameras and professional workflows, especially for sports and wildlife shooters. But there are still unanswered questions. Will professionals embrace an all-electronic shutter system, or will they demand the mechanical shutter stays? Will the nearly $2,000 price tag alienate APS-C enthusiasts who are used to more affordable options? And most importantly, can the R7 Mark II truly strike the balance of speed, image quality, and hybrid functionality that photographers and filmmakers expect in 2025? Final thoughts, the Canon EOS R7. Mark II could very well be one of the most important cameras Canon releases in the coming years. If the rumors hold true, it will deliver a stacked APS-C sensor with unprecedented readout speeds, blazing 40 FPS electronic shutter shooting, industry leading, IBIS stabilization, date K and 4K 120 FPS video capabilities, a redesigned professional-grade body inspired by the EOS R5 Mark II for Canon. This isn't just about launching a new APS-C body, it's about redefining the role of crop sensor cameras in the modern mirrorless era. So, is the Canon EOS R7 Mark II the future of APS-C cameras or just a niche experiment? Time will tell.
But if you're a wildlife photographer, sports shooter, or hybrid content creator, this might just be the most exciting Canon release of 2025.